Are you bored of where you live? Fed up with not having a room with a moat or a garden big enough for a parade of elephants? Maybe it's time for a change. So, here are a few options to think about in your house search. First up, have you ever considered renting Buckingham Palace? Smack dab in the center of London, the sprawling palace is one of the most visited tourist spots in the UK, especially for people looking for a taste of the royal treatment. In the early 1700s, the Duke of Buckingham commissioned an architect named William Wind to build Buckingham House. Yes, house, not palace. It was only the early beginnings of what the Grand Palace looks like today. In 1761, King George III bought Buckingham House for his wife, Queen Charlotte. But it was their son, King George IV, who began to morph Buckingham Palace into its current magnificence. Maybe, in fact, he may have gone a bit overboard. King George IV had great taste in decor. He appointed John Nash, a neoclassical architect, to elevate the building and its grounds to a shining monument of opulence. Parliament agreed to cover 150,000 pounds, about $200,000 of the bill. But by the end, the renovation costs had spiraled out of control to nearly half a million, which is close to $1 billion in today's currency. With 775 rooms, the palace has a lot to offer, including some unique features that you might not find in other properties on the market such as a river that runs beneath it. Back in the day, the River Tyburn was packed with salmon, a fisherman's daydream. Today, it flows through an underground channel, trickling beneath Buckingham Palace on its way through London. Some fishing enthusiast organizations have rallied to bring the river back up above ground, but that would mean tearing down several buildings along the way, including Buckingham Palace. So they might need to settle for other places to cast off for the time being. Buckingham Palace's 39-acre garden has many uses. It's the Queen's private London garden, and it also plays a key part in many royal events throughout the year. The most famous of these events are the Queen's Garden Parties, which can each welcome up to 24,000 guests into the garden's walls. The size of the garden is so vast that it could fit 29 football fields inside its walls and still have a bit of room to host afternoon tea. There's even a lake. Camels, crocodiles, elephants, and many other whimsical members of the animal kingdom have called the palace home. During the rule of King Henry VIII, deer roamed wild throughout the grounds. Then, years later, King James introduced an entire zoo, which future royals after him gladly took up as a tradition. Queen Charlotte was given a zebra and eight elephants, and Queen Victoria had great fun riding Jumbo. Ringmaster P.T. Barnum's famous circus elephant. So how much would it cost to rent out Buckingham Palace for a month? Well, it comes in at a budget-friendly amount of about $17.5 million a month. That means it would fetch about $230 million a year in rent. Let's put that number in perspective. For $17.5 million, you could buy the world's most expensive watch encrusted with 1,200 diamonds. So that's a $3.5 million clock for yourself and three of your friends, and you'd still have $3 million left over. If Buckingham Palace isn't your flavor, maybe another royal residence, Windsor Castle, might better suit your taste. The castle spans over 580,000 square feet and holds a millennium of royal history, dating all the way back to the Normans. Windsor Castle is the largest and oldest occupied castle in the entire world, First built by William the Conqueror in the 11th century, it's been the home of 39 monarchs since. Now, the queen spends most of her weekends away from her duties at the castle. Some of its highlights include a moat room. Yeah, a room for your moat. In the state apartments, you can view paintings created by many famous artists hanging on the walls. And of course, there are the arms and armor in the grand vestibule. I keep my armor in the grand vestibule in my house too. So how much would this beauty cost to rent? The monthly rent would cost you as much as to buy 40 average UK homes mortgage-free, which is $13.6 million. For the same amount, you could also buy a private island 30 minutes off the coast of Manhattan. So choose wisely. If neither of those is in your budget, how about Kensington Palace? It's the current home of Prince William and Kate Middleton in the center of London near Hyde Park. 
It's filled with multiple wings and royal apartments, where many past royals have called home, one of which being Princess Diana. Will and Kate's apartment is far from what you'd picture when you think of a regular one. It's more like a mansion inside a larger mansion. A portion of it even includes a clock tower. In 1689, King William and Queen Mary bought the mansion in a village called Kensington for £20,000, about $5.3 million today. At the time, it was called Kensington House. Since then, generations of royals have continued to live in the palace. Queen Anne worked on expanding its gardens and also built the Orangery, which started out as a greenhouse. Now it serves as a restaurant open to the public. With a measly 20 rooms, it makes up for it with 30 acres of grounds. Inside, there are two greeting rooms and multiple studies for the royals to work in. Plus, it has three kitchens. So, you could get three different midnight snacks and never visit the same fridge twice. In addition, the royal apartment inside has its own private gym and an elevator, which is helpful since it spans four different floors. Renting Kensington Palace would set you back about $2.1 million a month. $2.1 million could get you a top-end Lamborghini, which has 770 horsepower and can zoom up to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds. You'd have some cash left over, though, because the Lamborghini only costs $1.9 million. So you could throw a few Honda Civics in your shopping cart, too, if you wanted. Sandringham House is the beloved country home away from home of Queen Elizabeth II. Sandringham is a huge estate that the royals use for many occasions, since it has features ranging from fruit farms to a full museum. Mostly, it's where the English royals love to spend their winter holidays. It's in Norfolk, England, about 100 miles north of London, and is built on 20,000 acres of land. Put that in perspective, an acre was first measured as the size of land that could be plowed in one day with an ox in the Middle Ages. So, to plow Sandringham Estates land in one day, you would need 20,000 people and 20,000 oxen. In 1862, the British royal family bought the estate as a country retreat for the Prince of Wales, Edward VII, and his fiancée, Alexandra of Denmark. After that, the estate was passed on to Queen Elizabeth II. There are more than 200 people who work on the estate, which includes farmers, gardeners, and workers in the sawmill and fresh apple juice pressing plant. How much would monthly rent be in this sprawling abode? About the same cost as buying 53 Arabian horses, which is $8.5 million. The Palace of Versailles in France was originally a private retreat for Louis XIII and his family. Under the direction of Louis XIV, the royal residence was expanded and remodeled into immense and ornate premises surrounded by stately gardens. Every detail of it was designed to glorify Louis XIV and highlight his extravagance. A landscape artist crafted French gardens with fountains that created an illusion of magically still water, meant to express the power the king had over even nature. It was also the private residence of Marie Antoinette. Of all of them, the most decadent room is the Hall of Mirrors. It's a long gallery lined with 17 mirrors, which sit opposite 17 windows to reflect the gardens outside. Opulent chandeliers gleam on the intricately painted ceiling, and the walls are built from white marble. How much does it cost to live like Marie Antoinette for a month? Well, there actually are rooms available for the public to rent. They start at $2,600, and with 2,300 rooms in total, that brings the rental value for the whole place up to $179 million per month. That's the equivalent of buying 55 grand pianos sculpted from pure crystal, which costs $3.2 million each. Okay, but really, did you know there are castles you can actually rent? There's a castle called Pete's Castle in Ireland, which was built over 600 years ago. Even though it has retained its original structure from the 1400s, in modern years, it's been renovated to make it a dream destination. But keep in mind, it's an actual ancient castle, so it's no Four Seasons. There are narrow staircases, and none of the rooms were designed for running water. Meaning, if you need the bathroom at 3 a.m., it's a chilly walk. It costs $145 per night, and it's open for anyone looking for a royally extravagant holiday to rent. If that's more in your budget range, I understand. We can't all have the money to buy 53 Arabian horses every month.
That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.